Hey folks, before we get into the game, just a quick note on pitching. If you're new to the game and coming over from Magic like us, it can be really tempting to pitch your cards to create resources, then spend them on whatever cards or abilities you want to play. In Flesh and Blood, you're actually not allowed to pitch unless you're in the process of paying for a card or ability. We do it incorrectly a few times in this game because we filmed a bunch of this content before we learned that. Now we know, and at some point in the future, you'll see us playing it right. Now, on with the game. What's up, Spikes? We're back with another round of pre-constructed Tales of Aria Blitz Deck Showdown. Uh, I am playing Lexi, and she's the ranger hero, and I'm gonna shoot a bunch of arrows into Jan's face. Oh, my uh, face. With the help of my trusty shiver, my honing hood, deep blue, mark of lightning, and iron rot leggies. Iron rot leggies. Leggies. Uh, I'm playing Briar, and I'm gonna try to protect my face with my Rosetta Thorn, Plume of Overgrowth, Hardened Cross Straps, Iron Rot Gauntlet, and Sutcliffe's Suede Hide. Are those suede? They're suede. <laughs> They're not blue, though. Ah, so I can step on them is what you're saying. Correct. Okay, also awesome. Also shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to start us off here. I am going to cast... Actually, I have to put this into my arsenal first. So I'm going to pitch this Chilling Ice Vein to activate my Shiver. I'm gonna have one resource floating and I'm gonna put an arrow from my hand face up into my arsenal. Uh, I'm gonna choose this Frazzle and uh, I will have it gain dominate until end of turn. Yeah, that's good. Just wanna put in some damage here. I'm gonna use my other resource that I have floating to uh, fire this Frazzle at you. Uh, I am not fusing it, so it is just for five just with for dominate. for five with dominate? Yes. Okay. I'll block for two with burgeoning. Okay. So Let's yeah, you three. will take three. Uh, Alright, so then I don't have go again or another action point, so I'm just going to clean up and we're going to draw some cards, both you and me. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to pitch this uh, Yellow Autumn's Touch for two. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to spend one of it to play Electrify. Uh -oh. So the next time attack action card hits a hero this turn, it deals two damage to them. If Electrify is played from Arsenal, draw a card. It was not, and it also has go again. Okay. Uh, then I'm actually going to crack my Hardened Cross Straps to make my next attack action card cost two less. And mm -hmm. also let's go again. And then I'm going to attack with Stir the Wildwood, and I am going to fuse it by revealing another Autumn's Touch. So it now has an additional plus two attack. Uh, so it's second for seven. For seven, and if, if it, it hits, hits it you take an extra two. Yeah. Ain't that just a kick in the pants? I know that you're probably going to attack me with your Rosetta Thorn after this for another four. So I think I gotta keep some back for that. Uh, I'm gonna block with this Overflex and my Iron Rot Legs for three. Three? Okay. So, three. so you take four and then two. So six total. Uh, so when it connects, it makes an Embodiment of Earth, and then when the additional effect triggers, I make a second Embodiment of Earth. Yes. It's two instant, separate instances of damage. Correct. Uh, I'm actually, I'm just gonna Arsenal this and uh, pass. Okay. I'm gonna see what I can do to slow you down this turn. Uh, I'm gonna cast a Chill to the Bone. Uh, so the next time an ice or elemental attack hits a hero this turn, I create two frostbite tokens under their control. And then this has go again. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to attack you with this entwine lightning from my arsenal, and I'm going to uh, fuse it with this heaven's claws to give it go again. Uh, so I'm attacking you for four. Four? Uh, I will block for four with my earth lore surge. Okay. I'm going to activate the ability of this shiver by pitching my heaven's claws that you maybe already knew about. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to put this buzz bolt into my arsenal face up. I'm going to have it gain dominate until end of turn. And then with my other resource from that, I will attack you with this buzz bolt. Four for four. four. With dominate. All right. Well, I don't want tokens, so I'll block with a rights of replenishment for three and my Iron Rock Gauntlets for four total. Okay, uh, because you blocked with a card from your hand, I'm gonna activate the ability of this Mark of Lightning to make the attack deal one damage to you. Yeah, that's bad for me. I'll take one, <laughs> and get two of these Frostbite tokens. Hang on, hang on, Bill here. Unfortunately, this interaction doesn't quite work the way that we thought it did when we played it here, but it's a good opportunity to point out something important that's featured very heavily in Tales of Aria. The difference between when something deals damage and when something hits. Chill to the Bone's effect only triggers when the attack hits a player. According to the comprehensive rules, as seen here, an attack is considered to have hit if it deals damage during the damage calculation step. Since the damage came from Mark of Lightning and happened before damage calculation, it is not considered a hit. I misunderstood how this worked at the time and thought that adding additional but separate damage would still count for Chill to the Bone, but it doesn't. 
That means Jan wouldn't have actually gotten any frostbites here. Now we know for next time. Back to the game. Well, start of my turn, I'm going to destroy both of these. Okay. Uh, then, since I forgot to bottom this last turn, we're just going to bottom that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually, I just think I'm going to end my turn. So we'll get rid of these frostbite tokens and just draw my cards. Okay, so since your shields are down, as they say. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, my yeah. embodiments are no longer earthed. <laughs> I'm going to see what I can do about taking advantage of that. I'm going to activate my deep blue. Put a card from my hand on the bottom of my deck and gain three resources, and then it says go again. Yep. Uh, so I will do that. Then I'm going to break this honing hood. Uh, I return all cards in my arsenal to my hand and then put a card from my hand face down into my arsenal. Uh, I'm going to put this card face down into my arsenal. I'm going to activate my once per turn effect of Lexi to turn a is face down. Instant? This is an instant, yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's Yeah, Honing yeah. Hood is actually really good. It's like so much better than this thing. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and it's free. Why can't I play Honing Hood? <laughs> uh, I'm going to flip up this Frazzle, thanks to Lexi. Uh, I'm going to use one to attack you with Frazzle for four, and I'm going to Lightning Fuse it with this Heaven's Claws. Uh, so because it was fused, if whenever an attack would deal damage this turn, instead it deals that much plus one. So it's attacking for five. Attacking for, yeah. Essentially. Five if, it, essentially, if it hits you for one, it does an additional one. So yeah, yeah it is technically for five. All right. Yeah, no. In that case, I'll just I'll take the five. Hmm. Go to eleven. That makes sense. I'm gonna activate this one return effect of shiver, and I'm gonna put this buzz bolt into my arsenal. Uh, I don't have any other action points. Just this is an instant. Yep. And I wanted to use the resource, so I'm gonna do that and draw some cards. So we'll start off playing this uh, entwine lightning. And I will fuse it by revealing Lightning Surge. So mm. it is fused, which means it says go again. So I'm just attacking you for four. I think I'm just going to let that one happen. Oh, sweet. I'm going to make yeah. another embodiment of Earth. Uh, then with the go again, I'm going to pitch this blue right of Replenish for three. And I'm going to attack you for six with Autumn's Touch. <sighs> that one's a little bit less okay. I don't know if I have anything to do about it, though. Autumn's Touch... Get touched uh, in the fall. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I'm going to go aggro here. I'm going to take six. All right. I'm going to make another embodiment of Earth. Yep. Uh, since I don't have any more action points, though, I will arsenal this card and draw back up to four. I'm going to start off by casting an Electrify, pitching this Frazzle. Uh, so the next time an attack action card hits a hero this turn, it deals three damage to them. Uh, it wasn't played from Arsenal, so I don't get to draw a card, but it does have go again. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am going to entwine lightning and fuse it with this Heaven's Claws uh, for four with go again. Uh, so it is for four. If it hits you, it deals an additional three. Um, well, I'm just going to take advantage of my embodiment tokens and block with this Bramble Spark for four. Okay. Yeah, that uh, that is fully blocked. Uh, I'm going to pitch this Heaven's Claws to throw this Buzz Bolt at you for five. And uh, just to note, Electrified yes, does say the next online, time. Yeah. yeah. So because I haven't hit with you, Eight. or I haven't hit you this turn with an action, it can still represent an additional three. Uh, so I'm going to block this one with a Rites of Replenishment. It's basically just going to block for free three, so I'm going to uh, fog this and still take five damage okay. total. Yeah. Go to six. I mean, that's that's better than nothing, that's for sure. Uh, well, it depends on whose side you're on. <laughs> yeah, for me. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I have nothing else to do. No cards in hand. I will draw. I'm going to start my turn, uh, get rid of my Embodiment of Earth tokens. Mm -hmm. And first things first, I'm going to play this Lightning Surge. Uh, since it was played for my arsenal, it gains go again. It's just a casual attack for three, nothing too big. <laughs> I'm at four. So at I think four. I have to be a little bit less greedy here <laughs> with your... With my life total. Yeah. Uh, I will block three with this Buzz Bolt. Okay. Uh, and then with the go again, I'm going to pitch this yellow Stir the Wild Woods to attack with uh, Entwine Earth for six. <sighs> Great. Uh, I'm going to block for five. Okay. So I will take, take one. Or take one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this connected, so I will get an embodiment of yeah, Earth. Get a thingy. And I will uh, pass my turn. Okay, uh, I'm going to arsenal a card and draw four. Start of my turn, get rid of this Embodiment of Earth token. You've served me well. <laughs> Let's uh, pitch this Bramble Spark for three. Even though I want to be playing non-attack actions, 
uh, and it's free. Mm -hmm. We want the resources. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to spend one for an Electrify. Uh, next attack action I play this turn. If it hits, it deals two damage to a hero. Uh, it was not played from Arsenal, so I'm not going to draw a card, but it does have go again. Okay. I am then going to spend these two resources Don't. to attack with Entwine Earth, and I will fuse it for a plus two attack. Stop! So I'm attacking for eight. Block eight! <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> I can't afford to die, do you know? Oh, I know. <laughs> My brain's just like, how do I give it go again? So I don't have any action points. All right, well, with that <sighs> out of the way, uh, I guess we'll do that. I will arsenal Casual this discard three card, <laughs> and uh, I will draw. All right, Jan, you're not ready for this. I'm not. Am I you're, just dead? Uh, you're at six? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to activate Lexi to turn this card in my arsenal face up. It's yeah. a Winter's Bite. Because it's an ice card, you get a Frostbite token. I'm going to cast Winter's Bite. Please discard a card unless you pay a resource. Pay a single resource, you say. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, in that case, I am going to uh, pitch this Lightning Surge and this Amulet of Earth for five resources. Mm -hmm. I will pay one into your Winter's Bite, and then I will also spend three plus one on my Plume of Evergrowth to crack this Frostbite to put a uh, Earth Action or Earth Instant card from your graveyard into my hand. Powerful. Uh, it's done me so proud. I'm gonna get this Entwine Earth into oh. my hand. <laughs> no, it's so big. Uh, I'm going to Arsenal this card and draw some cards. All right, so I'm gonna put these on the bottom. All right, I'm gonna pitch this Bramble Spark. I'm asking for so nicely. Three, three resources. Uh, I'm gonna spend one to play this uh, So Tomorrow. Okay. Um, so I put an Earth or Elemental Action card with a cost zero or greater from my graveyard onto the bottom of my deck. Hmm. Uh, I played from my arsenal, so I will draw a card and his go again. Powerful. Yeah. And that card will be Entwine Lightning. Okay. Then I will draw my card. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to pitch this uh, blue so tomorrow for three more resources. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend two to play Earth Lore Surge. Uh, the next attack action card I play this turn gets plus three attack. It has go again, and it is my second non-attack action card. So Briar's other ability will trigger, and I will make an embodiment of lightning. Uh huh. With that, I will then spend these two resources to come on in with this six attack earth entwine earth yeah so and it triggers it the embodiment of lightning the to embodiment give it go lightning. again it has go again and it's attacking for eight it's nine 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 uh well i mean okay so if i block six of it i die <laughs> yes uh, if, block if I seven block of it, you die. seven of it, I die. Yep. And if I block nine of it, I die. I die. <laughs> so I'm going to throw my entire hand in front of this for nine. Okay. Uh, then with the go again, I will protect my face with the Rosetta Thorn and mm. attack for four. Mm. Since I've planned a non-attack action and an attack action, you'll take two arcane damage for okay. attacking. Okay, uh, in response, yep. I'm gonna block with the Spike Feeder's f Flesh and Blood channel. Oh though. no, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm super, super dead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that was I, good. That was I close. just needed to claw back in yeah. with one turn. But yeah, you being able to like get around the Winter's Bite plus Frostbite thing. Yeah. I was hoping that, to be able to have you take a turn off. That so was... Do something. <laughs> yeah, luckily. there was a couple turns where I was I was one resource away from like cracking my boots to come in with the, the sword again. Yeah. But um, yeah, that was, that yeah. was a close match. Yeah, uh, no, that was... I feel like I was one attack getting through. Yeah, away from I would say like uh, <laughs> HP wise, like health wise, it doesn't look close on paper. But knowing what Lexi can do with Shiver, it was literally one one big, big turn away <laughs> from just uh, not going well for me. Yeah, there so. were a couple a couple turns where I had to like get rid of my take aim and my. Um, bolt and shot and overflex and whatever. Yeah. But anyway, block. that's yeah. that's me being sad. But <laughs> anyway, both of these six. decks are sweet anyway. Yeah, no, these are um, sweet. Uh, I look forward to like uh, tuning this one up a bit. I think I'm going to take mm -hmm. out a lot of the earth attacks or earth non-attack actions because they all cost 
at least one. Yeah. And that seems like it's a little pricey. It's, for, yeah, it ends up being a lot for just trying to chain things together, which yeah. is exactly what Briar is going to do. Right, yeah, because Briar, you want to be playing two non-attack actions to get a go again, because I don't think any of... There's a couple attack actions that have, like, conditional go again mm -hmm. on them, but none of her attacks have, like... Inherently, go, inherently again. go again. Yeah, that so. would make it a little bit awkward to actually use most of her abilities. Although the fact that Briar just gets like plus two defense, defense yeah, just for playing the game is like yeah. really good. Just from a, you know, I'm able to use one card from my hand to block a big attack yeah. effectively. Yeah, and yeah being able to have... block four uh, yeah. just with one card is actually pretty it's very powerful. good. Like I mean, uh, I've I've said it before. Like uh, Fate for Scene and uh, yeah, Sink Below are just yeah. so good because they're zero cost block for four. Briar makes yeah. all of her cards into that essentially, yeah. so, so it's yeah. it's pretty sweet. But yeah, I'm looking forward to playing these again. Yeah, absolutely, me too. All right. But uh, until then, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. Before you close the window, make sure you click subscribe for more great flesh and blood content.